Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on uh, setting view targets and switching in between cameras. Um, I am using the provided C++ first-person template. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the final product right now. Uh, there should always be a GitHub link down below in the description, so you can immediately grab the code and just move along. But if not, let's continue with the video. So right now, uh, when I push play, I immediately went to one camera, and then from that camera, I blend to the second camera. This is a direct copy of Epic's in, in, inside the Unreal documentation from one of their C++ tutorials. So you can definitely go there as well, but if not, we can just code live, see what happens, uh, and in, in case uh, editor's up there or something, or maybe it doesn't work, um, or if you're having issues with it, then hopefully this can help out. Uh, so let's go back in the editor and make it happen. Uh, so I'm going to delete all the test things that I have in here. I have the test actor. Um, get rid of that one. And I'm going to get rid of the two cameras that I added. All right. So let's go ahead and recreate it. Right click, new C++ class, actor, uh, call it camera director, and create class. All right. Very cool. They just created the, the files for us. So let's go ahead and start making it happen. Uh, first thing we want to do in the header file, we want to create a couple of actors and a couple of uh, two actors and one float variable. Uh, the actors we want to be able to interact with inside the editor, so we'll do a U property, edit anywhere. Uh, we can put a category in here as well. Category equals cameras. Um, this is going to be a actor pointer uh, camera one. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it because we're going to do the same exact thing, but for camera two. Um, and then the next we'll just do a float uh, time to next camera change. Again, all credit to Epic for making this. They have a very fun tutorial. It's a very good tutorial. Um, but let's go ahead and now let's, that's it for the header file. Let's jump into the CPP file. Uh, the first thing we want to do in the CPP file is include Kismet Game Statics. I always get it wrong, so let me check. It's Kismet slash Gameplay Statics dot H. Let me double check. Kismet Gameplay Statics dot H. All right, that seems about right. All of the logic for this code is going to happen in the tick function. The tick function it uh, runs every single frame. So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, const float time between camera change. And we'll have that as two seconds. So it, it's, it's self-explanatory. That's the time that it'll change in between cameras. Const smooth blend. No, it const float smooth blend, my bad. Smooth blend time equals 0 0.75 float. Again, that's how long it'll take from to smoothly blend from one camera to the other. Uh, time to next camera change. That's going to equal delta time. All right, so if time to next camera change is less than or equal to 0, Let's do something. So if that is true, we want to set it back to two. Um, time to next camera change. And it's going to be, uh, we set it to time between camera changes. Time between camera change. There we go. So if it's smaller than zero, then we got to set it back to two. And after that, if camera two and our player controller. So we included Kismet gameplay statics above so we can use these gameplay controller functions. Uh, our player controller, uh, then arrow operator, get view target. equals camera one I forgot two 
and signs right here ampersands I believe they're called uh, so if camera 2 exists and our current camera view target equals camera one, camera 1 um, we're gonna then blend to camera 2 um, our player controller arrow operator set view target with blend <clears throat> and it's going to be camera two uh, and we're going to set the smooth blend time so if all that's true we will then set the camera but if it's results to false and if these following parameters are true and if camera one exists then we'll do the following function um, our player controller arrow operator set view target not with blend this time again it's just to kind of teach you both of them um, set it to camera one and that should be it let's save it compile it see if there's any errors and then run and move along All right, there's an error. Let me double check it. Uh, 3636, uh, camera two, it's all in the CPP. So it's just a bunch of typos. Camera, 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 camera. Save it. Let's narrow it down. I'm sure I have a few others. Our player controller. I'm on line 36 and 38. Um, 36 our player controller why is that wrong did I not define it um, yeah so I missed a pretty big part of it um, a player controller uh, is a pointer it's our player controller so this is where we set the our player controller variable and we set it to u gameplay statics colon colon get player controller this zero which is the first player controller that we find let's see if that works all right one more error camera another typo um that's on line 38 that should be it All right, the compile was a success. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our game world, camera director. I'm gonna add a billboard component so I don't lose it and I can kind of keep track of it. Uh, move this up. All right, so now let's click the root of it. We have these camera one and camera two actors. Let's go ahead and, and drag and drop a couple of cameras into our game world. Camera one, move that thing up and then let's just have some fun with it. Uh, rotate around. Do this let's move it up way over here I'm gonna click alt and drag which will make a duplicate of the camera so now I'm just gonna have yeah you know, I'm just gonna rotate this thing around have a point down and uh, that should be good so now go back to our camera director camera one find the camera that we just dropped into the game world I'll just search camera camera actor I'll do the same thing for camera two I'll do camera actor two and we'll push play and it did not work. Dun dun dun. Mother of Lord, what happened? What did I miss? Um. <laughs> oh. My bad. I think I declared this too far out. I missed quite a few steps, so move that, drag that down there. If uh, if our player controller is true, then run these functions. I kind of butchered this pretty bad. Hopefully, it's not too big of a deal. Move that down there. Now let's see if it compiles. Oh my God! What the fuck? 
my error again. It's not time to next delta time to next camera change doesn't just equal delta time. It's minus equal delta time. So hopefully that works. And that should hopefully correct the issues. And so there it worked. You can see that I immediately grabbed that and now we're switching in between it. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.